Now, I want to spend today's minute talking to organizational leaders about grief and the employee assistance program. I hear it all the time. We're okay here. We take care of our bereaved employees by providing an EAP. Now, EAPs do provide valuable mental health assistance for employees, but it must be considered as only one tool to be used. I can mention that studies show only 3 to 7% of eligible employees will ever use an EAP, but beyond that, the average American employee will spend over 90,000 hours on the job in a lifetime and more awake time with those at work than with family members at home. In those couple of free sessions a grieving employee gets with a counselor, well, they'll be scheduled weekly or bi-weekly at best, and that's if the employee chooses to go at all. The employee's grief is not on a schedule. The need for support comes when it decides to come. A great deal of time, that need will come during the workday when the griever is in the company of highly influential co-workers. It is the organization that is indifferent to grief that contributes to the over $100 billion in loss from grief brought to the job. And it costs nothing to change this. And that is a Grief in the Workplace Minute.